Creo Parametric 8.0 added the ability to create a branch tape cosmetic feature in cabling mode. Let's take a look at how to do that. Let's click on applications and then cabling. And now just to redo some pre-selection highlighting, I'm going to change this to vertex just so when I move my mouse over the model, we don't get any flashing. To create the branch tape, here is the command in the ribbon. I will click on that. And now I am prompted to select a location to place the branch tape. I can't pick those different locations when I've got the thick cable display. Let's change to the center line display and then I will pick this location where I have a branch. Now you can see sort of a preview in orange of what we're getting. Right now I can't create the feature because I do not have a spool selected. If you have a spool of the correct type available, it, you can pick it from this drop down list, but I don't have it. Therefore, I will use this icon to create a new tape spool. Now it asks me for the name of the spool. I will call it my branch spool and then hit the enter key. That opens up the electrical parameters dialog box. Let me grab this and make it a little bit narrower. Here we have the name, type sheath, sheath type is tape. Then we have the wall thickness. I'm going to crank this up to a big value so that you can see it. And then I like to use 2x times the thickness for the minimum bend radius. Here we have units for the width. I'm going to make this a big value of 20. Then for the color, you do have a drop down list where there are some pre named colors for you. But if you choose a color, that corresponds to the name of a color that you have set up, then it'll use that color. I have a three letter code GRN for green, so let me use that. That's good. If you go to the view drop down menu, you do have a few other additional columns that you can add, like density. Be aware though that this is a linear density, it is not the typical volume density. But I'm happy with that. Let's hit the cancel button because I didn't change anything. Now I will click OK out of the electrical parameters dialog box. Let me change the length of the branches to a nice big value so you can see it. Be aware that you do have check boxes for which branches that you want to include. And then there's also this overlap factor, which is the overlap percent of the tape width for each wrap of the tape. Hey, let's lower this. Maybe I only like to use 10%. That's good. Now I can hit the check mark to complete the feature. Be aware that the branch tape is one of the features that allows you to build the feature and then keep the dashboard open to create another one just like this. But I'm happy with that. Let's hit the check mark and now I will switch back to a thick cable display. So there you can see the branch tape feature that we have created in our model. One last thing to note, if I go over to my harness part in the model tree, here you can see the cosmetic feature down at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.